So now it's a deal for Zal here, market analysts at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets end of days trading the Thursday, the 15th of June 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal. Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com, at Google Play, and the Apple App Store. Okay, uh, European session, let's look at the stats. FTSE down 55 points due to numerous reasons. I'll go through them very shortly. The German DAX down a whopping 114 points, mainly due to the sell off in the uh, or vicious sell off in the NASDAQ. Uh, the CAC down 26, the FTSE mid, the IBEX, all certainly uh, suffering. Okay, now let's look at the market narrative. Overnight, we have the WAPO story uh, with regards to Mr. Trump uh, certainly uh, being uh, investigated for obstruction of justice. Okay, uh, now they obviously didn't nail him on collusion, so now they want to go after him in terms of obstruction of justice. So, as they always say, where there's smoke, there's, f there's fire, and certainly is something there, uh, and this is why this is being constantly leaked. So, it's just a matter of time, I think, personally, my own personal opinion. I, I, I actually forecast six months max before he gets impeached. Um, and it certainly is headed that way, to be honest. And the way stock markets are set up as well, US equity certainly is uh, vulnerable to an impeachment as well. Okay, now in terms of uh, that being the main one of the main major headlines causing risk aversion, also with regards to Yellen, uh, the markets have interpreted her as being very hawkish, a uh, hawkish in time, uh, at a time or current, at a juncture where uh, the economic data doesn't justify being hawkish, and uh, it certainly seems like the markets certainly spat his dummy out and uh, obviously triggered a ma major sell-off. The uh, Nasdaq was at a pivot low of 5.630 at one point. The uh, S&P was at a pivot low of 24.18 at one point. It has retraced 10 handles now. Okay, and the Nasdaq certainly has retraced, but whether or not that actually uh, can continue is a different question altogether. And uh, US equities certainly are under immense pressure. Economic data-wise, let's look at the uh, stats uh, from a... Uh, Fundamental perspective, uh, CHF data really was the uh, PPI, nothing of major importance. Uh, French inflation certainly weaker as well. CPI data from Italy uh, came in more or less in line. It was the UK retail sales that was a big shocker for the uh, UK markets. Now, retail sales came, certainly came in on a weaker note. A European trade balance data certainly came in on a weaker note. Okay, so retail sales certainly uh, causing uh, immense uh, concern with regards to UK growth going forward. And then we had the uh, other shocker. The other shocker was the th three BOE members. You had uh, Forbes, Saunders and McCafferty all voting for a potential rate hike. And again, that certainly sent shock uh, down the uh, FTSE spine, so to speak, <clears throat> and triggered the, uh, the actual H&S formation that certainly ca uh, came into play. So we had the uh, the actual FTSE breaking below the neckline, FTSE under pressure on the back of a spike on in sterling. Sterling, I think, sp spiked almost 120 pips. Uh, currently, it was around 126. It actually is currently trading around the 12760 uh, zone now. So obviously, a, a move higher in uh, sterling certainly hurts equities. We have oil prices still languishing at the $44 level. No love for oil at all. Uh, certainly uh, very very negative okay certainly being perceived as being negative and therefore obviously going into risk aversion mode uh, in terms of US market data we had jobless claims coming in slightly better than expected but then we had continuous jobless claims coming in slightly uh, stronger so therefore mixed picture there import prices certainly coming in weaker export Export prices coming in weaker as well, therefore weaker inflation to a large extent. Philly Fed data came in stronger than expected. U.S. industrial production came in weaker than expected. Uh, housing data weaker than expected. Okay, so again, business inventory certainly weaker than expected as well. So a mixed patch of data there, okay, in terms of the U.S. markets. Now, uh, the dollar certainly remains supreme and certainly remains strong by the looks of things. We had a, a, we've had a more than a 200 pip rally in the USD JPY. USD CAD certainly has reversed as well. So an impressive move there. Okay, so let's see exactly where this market stands now from a technical perspective. Now the FTSE 100 really from my perspective is probably the weakest link out of all the European indices. And the reason why I say that is because number one, you have a hawkish BOE. Uh, number two, you have a criminal investigation open now as well with regards to the Green uh, Fell uh, Tower. Okay, now apparently the, the rumour has it or talk has it on Twitter that uh, the Tory government or Conservative government certainly will take the will be the scapegoat for that. And that may well end Miss uh, Theresa May's reign, given the fact that uh, the deregulation and the potential uh, 
lack of safety procedures were certainly under a range. So again, it certainly does uh, increase political uncertainty as well. Okay, so again, you have uh, sterling moving moving higher, certainly hurting the export sector. You have criminal investigation launched, launch. criminal investigation launch with regards to Greenfell. Again, that creates uncertainty and creates fear. Okay, uh, we also have the uh, oil prices certainly languishing as well. Sterling moving higher. Uh, retail sales out during the day certainly weaker. So the FTSE 100 certainly is looking to play out in terms of the H&S formation. We certainly have had a bounce from that pivot low of 7.380. We've bounced as high as uh, 7.420 now. And again, like I said, looking for risk aversion. So H&S formation looking to play out. We are looking to potentially test that 7.380 zone again potentially even lower down to 7300 given the target on the HNS is 7300 okay certainly looking for weakness we've had a small retrace here so this retrace certainly looking to be sold and uh, certainly looking to move lower in terms of the German DAX okay German DAX certainly flushed here as well whether or not we're carving out some form of HNS formation again certainly needs to be observed so uh, given the fact that we've pushed higher now to uh, around that 127 level, whether or not we can push to 12750 and then obviously trigger this HNS formation. So again, keep an eye on that, okay, in terms of the German DAX, a daily chart after yesterday's topping tail, a bearish engulfing candle today, certainly coming under immense pressure. 10 minute chart did actually break out the bearish channel, so we'll see whether or not that has legs uh, in terms of uh, the euro certainly remaining weak and helping the European equities to a large extent. So certainly some divergence there. Uh, French CAC certainly bounced off that uh, pivot low here. Okay, so certainly bounced up to 1.5220. We have one fill gap at 5.245. And again, if a euro continues to move lower than that, certainly will be the potential target. Okay, now in terms of the uh, uh, euro stocks, last but not least, let's just bring that up for you. Euro stocks previous support equals resistance. Okay, so again, certainly acting as resistance here. 10 minute chart certainly has bounced, but as we've seen on a 60 minute chart, bias remains bearish. Now, the daily chart, from my perspective, it certainly seems like it wants to close the gap at 3440, so watch out for the gap below. That really is my uh, summation in terms of the uh, euro stocks at present. Okay, so I think that's a good summation of European indices. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.